Hi guys, this is Joe, a solutions consultant for Soft Solutions, and today I'm going to talk about empowering users uh, to install software based on their needs using Endpoint Central Self-Service Portal. So as part of the IT administration or part of the IT group, so you will have the need to deploy different types of softwares to different types of uh, groups as well, or even computers. So this is not only a retained task, but at the same time consumes a lot of your uh, time and effort. So you will have to deploy multiple software configurations to the required target. So based on this, so Manage Engine added another easy approach to accomplish software deployment by using self-service portal. So what is self-service portal? So self-service portal allows you to publish software or group of softwares to the target users and even computers. So unlike manual software deployment, you can publish the list of softwares to the group, whether it's a users or computers. So you can empower them to install the software based on their needs by themselves. So this helps you to save a lot of time and effort and at the same time enhances productivity as well. So how to access self-service portal? So one is to launch self-service portal from the endpoint central agent. So once the agent has been installed, it will be available in the system tray. And then after you've clicked the system tray or the agent, so you have the list of uh, items that will be displayed to you, one of which is the self-service portal. Another one is by clicking or double-clicking on the self-service portal shortcut that is available in your user's desktop. And then lastly, uh, choosing self-service portal from the startup menu. So I'm going to show you a demo on how to uh, package an agent and then at the same time uh, publish it using the self-service portal. To make sure that the self-service portal is available in the agent tray, right? so we need to check for a few things, uh, two in particular. One is to go to the admin settings and then click the agent settings, agent tray icon, and then you have to make sure that the show self-service portal menu is available, available or is ticked, and then click save changes. Another one is uh, go to the software deployment, then go to the self-service portal uh, settings. So you just have to make sure that the display self-service portal is available on the agent, agent tray, uh, desktop shortcut, and then startup menu. Click Save. So now uh, we are ready to create a package and then deploy uh, the package that we've created in the self-service portal. So uh, templates are available uh, for the administrator to use in the uh, Endpoint Central. So we do have templates for different operating systems such as Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, Debian, and even Red Hat. And then let's say, for example, uh, in this scenario, I will be choosing Teams. So you just have to click Search and then type Teams. And then in here, it will display all of the list, all of the Teams, uh, which, will, which is available for you to deploy. So let's say, for example, I'll be choosing the Teams window here. Okay, so once chosen, so you just have to create a package. So after you created the package, so the package will be downloaded from the uh, vendor's website, and then it will be stored in the network repository, which is uh, configured in the uh, Endpoint Central uh, server. So there are two types of uh, software repository. One is a network file share, and then the HTTP repository. In this case, we'll be using the HTTP resource since uh, the file is downloaded in the vendors from the vendor's website. So once downloaded, so it will be available here. Then you just click this Teams window and then uh, modify. So I'm doing this because I've already downloaded the package and then it's ready to be deployed in the self-service portal. So just click modify. Then you have the package name and then the package type, which is a exe file. So license type is non-commercial. Then locate installable, which is from a local computer, which is uh, save in my HTTP HTTP repository. So this is the uh, uh, exe file. 
okay and then in the installation so you do have the installation the uninstallation and then the advanced advanced uh, settings so we'll be focused mostly on the installation side of things so in the installation details you have the uh, switches on the arguments so with this argument so you will uh, install this software uh, silently okay since it does have this uh, argument uh, in place then uh, you can also create a pre-deployment activity such as uh, you can check for a, a free disk, a disk space then check for the file folders check softwares etc and then you can also check for the post-deployment activities such as you create a delete shortcut, a run a custom script, a registry settings, and then etc. So I'll click cancel because I already created one. So once created, so all you have to do is to click the self-service portal and then publish software packages into computer or even the users. So in this case, since I already have a uh, Windows 10 group, so I'll be using this one. So I'll just have to uh, modify this group. And then in here, uh, select the custom group, which is Windows 10 client. And then uh, select the teams that I've created. Uh, transfer in here, so installs without approval, or you can also select uh, requires approval uh, prior to installation. So this requires an integration with the Service Desk Plus. Then I click Modify. After I've modified this group and then added Teams as one of the softwares uh, which the users can uh, install at their end, so it will wait for a 90-minute uh, refresh cycle. So what is this 90-minute refresh cycle? So this is the time where the server or where the agent themselves uh, communicate to the server or the endpoint central server to get an update. So it's because, uh, so since I've already configured that uh, this uh, before, so it will be available in the test machine that I've created. So you just need to log in. Then, uh, hold on. So in this example, so the agent tried to communicate to the endpoint central server and that uh, and get some updates so these are the softwares that i've put in that uh, group uh, for the users uh, to install so the following are teams uh, 7zip notepad plus plus etc so this is the one that i've uh, we've created a while ago so all they have to do is uh, just to install this so it will take some time uh, for the users to install this, so it will run on the back end, so it will install uh, the software uh, silently as well. And that's it. For more information or any queries about Managed Engine and Point Central, please contact our team at 0800 733 233 or you can send an email to sales at managedengine.co.nz. Thank you and have a nice day.